a video feed in a wall? What? Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and today I am really excited to show you the new video wall stack. Now, for years, we've had a Vimeo wall stack, right? And I've been requested so many times, Joe, when's YouTube wall coming out? Well, what we've done here is that we've built a video wall where you can have Vimeo and YouTube all in the same wall. And we have more services planned out for the future, right? But right now, you can install Vimeo and YouTube feeds directly, even intermixed in the same exact wall right? So really cool. There's some really great unique features in this new stack and I can't wait to show you. Let's jump on in. So here we are on the video wall preview site and what you'll notice we scroll down here is the first instance of video wall. Now there are two different ways to view videos inside video wall. The first way is through a static player and as you see here I have a a placeholder image here inside of a player and below that I have a grid of videos. Now if I were to click on this video you'll notice that it actually plays directly inside the static player. Now what's really great about this static player is that if you scroll down the page you'll notice that the static player will stick to the side of the browser window and continue to play as the user looks at the rest of your web page. This is a really great feature. Now if I scroll back up and once the static player becomes back into view, that video continues to play seamlessly back in the static player position. It's very cool. Now the next way to play videos is through the Lightbox player. And this is what you would typically think is if you were to click on one of these videos, it will open the video inside the light box. As you see, the, the video animates in, you'll notice that the, the actual web page background blurs and we have a beautiful effect. Now we can have the title and the description of the video here and this light box is completely customizable. So if you want the title and the description, you can. You can have a white box or a, a box around it that is configurable um, around the content or you can have it just straight directly on the light box background as I have here. Now you may have also noticed as I hover over these grid items, there are many different options for animating the play button. Here it's very simple, it just uh, kind of makes that play button more uh, opaque, okay? And if we look to the first example, we'll see that we have a much fancier animation here where not only is the play button expanding to the screen, but you'll notice the thumbnail in the image is kind of rotating and zooming in a little bit. It's a really great animation. Now, another way to view videos if you didn't want a full-blown grid is that you can also have the videos inside of a slider. So the videos are still organized in columns. However, it's all aligned in a single row and you can simply slide through the videos. And when you decide you wanna watch a video, click on it and the videos will also play in the static player or the light box. It's completely up to you. Now let's quickly jump into Rappiverse so you can see kind of how these videos can be configured. So here we are inside the Vimeo wall demo file that ships with the stack. And let's go ahead and see how we built this demo site. So if we scroll down the page, you'll notice that the first stack here is the static player. Now this is a completely separate stack from video wall because you can place that static player wherever you want on the page. Um, now the options here are really simple. You just give it a static player ID. So if you want multiple static players on the page, you can definitely do that. Okay. Um, you can then control the border, the border size, the color, and there's also the ability to have the caption on hover. So if you hover over the static player while the video is playing, it will actually display the title and the description of that video for you. Now, further down on the page, this is where we get into video wall. So if you notice here, uh, when you add video wall to the stack, there is a plus button. Now I already have a YouTube feed set up here, but you can go ahead and click plus and you can add either a Vimeo feed or a YouTube feed. Now what's great is you can have as many feeds as you want inside of a video wall. You can have multiple YouTube, multiple Vimeo or a combination of all of them and they'll all be merged into the same wall and it will work fluently. Now let's go ahead and look at the YouTube feed stack. 
First off, we have a little edit note, so you can add a, maybe a little note about what this particular playlist is, okay? And then you can configure your YouTube query. Now, in YouTube, we have the ability to have playlists, channels, channel video search, or search all videos, okay? So obviously playlist, if you select playlist, this is the playlist ID that shows up in the YouTube URL, okay? Next is the channel video. Now, um, this is the channel ID. Now, if you're on a YouTube channel and the URL is one of the more user-friendly URLs, such as youtube.com slash weaverspace, okay? You're gonna actually have to find out the YouTube channel ID. Now, if you own the channel, you'll be able to find that channel ID inside of your channel settings, okay? Next up is channel video search, and this allows you to search for videos within a channel, okay? So you give the channel ID again, and then you give your search query. And the last option for YouTube is to search all videos. So basically, this is gonna search all videos within YouTube. Now, if we check out the Vimeo feed, we have a little bit more options. Vimeo has a lot more queries that we can actually query via their API. So we can query things like likes, appearances, albums, channels, categories, and even tags. Now, now that we've configured our feeds, let's go ahead and look at the video wall settings. First is gonna be how do we wanna sort our videos? We can sort by newest, oldest, likes, shuffle the videos, or just have none. Basically, it's gonna just return the sort order that is brought to us by the various services, okay? Um, now, a quick note about likes. Likes currently is not supported by YouTube. We hope to add that in the future. Next up is how do we want to display our player and our wall? So do we want the grid or do we want a slider? Do we want the player to be a light box or a static player? Okay, so they're just simple little toggles to determine what you wanna do there. Then the settings are broken down pretty much by each component. So here we have the video grid. So do we wanna show the title under the video that customize the borders and the shadows and the loader color? Okay, we can customize the number of columns on small, medium, large, and extra large. Now, if you want granular control, you can click this plus button and you can actually configure the breakpoints that are used for all of these settings. Next up further down, we can configure the gutter, border, and titles. And similarly, if we click on the plus button, we can configure those values on a per breakpoint basis. Next up is the play button. There's a lot of variations that we can have here. Do we want to circle a square or no play button? Okay. Do you want to animate the button and the thumbnail or either or? So you can turn off the animations for those. And then here you can configure the color and the sizing. Next, we have the colors and sizing for the slider navigation and then the light box. So, you know, do you want to show the title and description? Um, some configurations on how you want things to animate. Okay, so modal animation is the light box itself. The page animation is the actual web page behind the light box. There's some actual interesting animations for those as well. And then of course, all the, co all the colors and sizing availability. And if you're using the static player, this is where you configure the player ID so that this needs to match the ID that is inside the static wall. So I zoomed through that pretty quick, okay? Um, but you see that it's pretty simple to set up. Just follow kind of the logical order of the settings. It's pretty simple. However, things are pretty complex in terms on the back end, right? The stack does some really amazing things for us so simply, right? Like integrating multiple feeds into a single wall, right? And hopefully in the future, we plan on adding even more video services. So I'm really excited for where this video wall is taking us. It really allows us to dynamically add videos to our websites, right? No longer do you need to add videos inside your Rapidweaver project, if you wanna add a new video to your website, just simply create a playlist in YouTube and start adding videos to it. You add a video into YouTube, within minutes it's gonna show up on your website automatically. You don't need to do anything special, right? Video wall takes care of everything for us. It is 100% automated. And I might add that it also 100% works inside Rapidweaver. And this is really cool because if you use some of the older versions of Vimeo wall, it didn't really work in rap review. You had to actually publish to make sure that everything was working, but now everything works beautifully directly inside rapid weaver. 
So I hope you enjoy Video Wall. I can't wait to see the amazing things that you build with it. And please make sure that you share your websites on Weaver Space so that we can see them and other users can get inspiration from them. So thank you again. I hope you enjoy Vimeo Wall and we'll see you next time. Bye.